Hi all, welcome back. My name is Praveen Balan. Today we are going to speak about compliance policy in Intune. In the previous few videos, we spoke about how do we configure the basic configuration of Intune in order to ensure that our Intune platform is ready to enroll Windows, Android and iOS devices. But we haven't really speak about any additional features or any additional configuration that we can make in Intune in order to ensure that we manage the device in a better manner and today's video we are going to focus only on the compliance policy settings in Intune and ensure that we apply the compliance policy rightly on devices and allowing the applications only to the devices which are compliant with the company policies. If you like such videos as I always say do not forget to subscribe the channel also click on the reminder button so that you get notified on the new videos when I release them. With that note, let's get started. When you set up the uh, Intune, basically when you set up the Intune, there is no compliance policy present. So if you go ahead and check the device status in Intune under devices, it will show that everything is in compliant. So why is it showing us compliant when there is no compliance policy created in the Intune? Now we get to compliance policies and, and under the compliance policy settings you can see that what do you want to do with the device which is not assigned with any compliance policy it is set as compliant. If that is set as compliant what happens if there are no compliance policy enforced to the devices this device will show as compliant. Usually in a recommended approach we need to ensure that this settings is set to not compliant. If we modify the basic compliance policy settings to not compliant without creating the necessary compliant policy then all devices will become non-compliant. So let us start creating the compliance policy before we actually modify the settings in the basic or the built-in compliance policy settings. Under Windows compliance policy settings create a policy name according to your requirement again I'm not going to discuss each and every compliant points which is available or each and every compliance settings which are available in the compliance policy which is self-explanatory in one of the document from Microsoft or probably we will try to cover it in a different video at a later stage so I'm going to set up very basic settings in the compliance policy basically only setting is to ensure that the devices are running a certain level of Windows 10 versions. The other details information about compliance policy are all available in the document. The article that I am showing it right now and a link to this article will be given in part of the description which you can go through it. So let's continue creation, creation continue the creation of the compliance policy and finish the configuration. And in this section, the action for the compliance, what do you want to really do? If the devices to which it is, which is enforced is not in compliance with the policy, immediately mark them as non-compliant. That's what the settings by default we do it. And then we need to assign it to a group of people to which we want to enforce it. I already have a test group which is created and I'm going to assign to the group. And then click on create. Now we have the Windows compliance policy configured. If you go back to the devices which are enrolled by this group of users to which we targeted, they will start receiving the new compliance policy. Usually the compliance policy takes bit longer period so you need to be very patient at times it takes like an hour or two hour depends upon the connectivity and all that factor and sometime it may be faster but you don't have to really rush please create a compliance policy wait for a while before you can see them as complaint now you can see that the policy became green which is complained now we can go back and modify the settings in the built-in policy let's go back to the built-in policy settings and turn the not compliant option for a device which are not assigned with any compliant policy. Now with this settings what will happen the devices which are not assigned with any compliant policy will become non-compliant. 
I have did a lot of fast forwarding in it to ensure that I don't you know spend a lot of time in refreshing the pages. Now if you look at all the other devices other than the Windows device the first Windows device are non-compliant. That's because we do not have a compliant pol compliance policy created for Android and iOS. Let's go ahead and create an Android and iOS compliance policy as well and ensure that the policy gets applied to the Android and iOS devices as well. This compliance status is usually verified before giving access to any application. So we need to ensure that we have created compliance policy for all platform if you are planning to enroll all platform devices into Intune. Let's go ahead and create compliance policy for Android and iOS as well. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to quickly go ahead quickly going to create compliance policy for Android as well as for iOS without much discussing about the settings available in this policy which are clearly explained in the article that I have given in the description. Now we have created for Android and also for the iOS devices. Let's wait for a while and refresh the page and see if the new compliance policies are getting applied to the Android and iOS device as well. Now we can see that other than the BYOD02 device, all other device status turned into compliance policy. So now with these settings, we have configured the compliance policy in Intune and we can use the compliance status of devices in create when creating the conditional access policy and allow the end user to access the cloud applications which are available in our tenant. So this is one of the best practices in Intune. You must create compliance policy and apply to all the devices which are getting registered or which are getting enrolled into your Intune platform in order, in order to use them in conditional access policies. We will speak about conditional access policies in the coming videos. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If then do not forget to click on the subscribe button, like the video, share it and also do not forget to click on the reminder button so that you get notified on my new videos when I release them. With that note, this is Praveen Balan. Time for us to wind up today. We'll be coming back with another video very soon. Till then, bye.